Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about if the new AP exam is getting pushed by the NTS. Now before we start, make sure you sign up on my website for some free practice problems and also for some tips on how to tackle this exam. Now don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and also make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each time I release new videos. Now let's get right to it. So a lot of people are wondering if the NTS will actually push the FE changes which is happening on July 1st now I already talked about the FE changes for FE civil and any environmental if you haven't checked those video yet I will leave the link above there and then you can check it out but because of this pandemic people are wondering if the NCS would actually push the dates because a lot of people their exam got cancelled or rescheduled and people started studying already for the FE exam like a couple months ago and they were planning to take it before these changes happening and so a lot of people are asking this question, would actually the NCS consider pushing the days because a lot of people don't really have the opportunity to take it before July 1st. So a student on Reddit has actually reached out to the NCS and asked them if they could consider pushing the dates for the new FE exam. And he shared with me their response. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys here. So this is the NCS response. So the conversion to the new specifications has been in development over, for over two years and the new specifications will be implemented in July as scheduled. Specifications are revised every seven years to ensure the topics tested are current with the standards of practice. The format of the exam is not changing, same number of questions, same types of questions. You can download the updated FE reference handbook from your account at no charge. There's no material, but the contents will look very familiar to anyone who started preparing with the previous version. Both the old and new specifications are posted on their website and you can compare them to see what is changing. So let's go over this a little bit. So the first thing I noticed here is that first of all, they're not considering to push these changes. They are going to implement it in July as scheduled. So that's the first thing. The next thing we have is the format of the exam is not changing. Same number of questions and same types of questions. So this here is a little bit confusing because when we went over the changes and we compared the old and the new specifications, we saw that the number of questions are changing and they also added and removed some topics. So I'm not sure what they mean by this, but looking at the new specifications, they definitely changed the number of questions and they also like if you actually take a look at environmental and if you're taking FE environmental, there's this new section that they added. And in terms of number of questions, if you remember like transportation, they increased it. They also increased it in statics. So I'm really having trouble understanding this sentence here. Like what do they mean by this? Because this really contradicts what's on the specifications. They also stated here that the content will look very familiar to anyone who has started preparing with the previous version. So if you took the FE exam before and you're taking it again after July 1st, I think that FE experience that you had is going to be very similar. Looking at this email overall, I don't think they're going to do any major changes. You're going to have similar type of questions. You're going to have similar format, like the fill in the blanks, drag and drop and all that. And then in addition to that, it doesn't look like the content is going to change a lot either so you're gonna have the major topics is still going to be covered on your FE exam so just make sure that you guys are prepared for that so if you guys are taking the FE exam after July 1st make sure that you download the latest specification and just go over those materials and study them and also make sure that you use the FE reference handbook the latest version which I believe it's 10 and you can download it for free from your NCS account Another thing I would like to add is that try you guys not to focus too much on these changes. These changes are happening. They're going to start implementing them. What you can do is download the specifications, download the FE reference handbook and just start studying and just focus on what you need to study so that you can pass your FE exam and try to focus on the present. So if you took your FE exam before and you failed, don't beat yourself up, move on and just don't dwell in the past. And then also don't focus too much on the future be on the present focus on what you can do today what you can study today so you are closer and closer to passing tomorrow another thing i recommend that you guys do is try to put a schedule together and when you put that schedule try to be very specific because the more clear you are about your study plan the 
more focused you're going to be when you're going to start studying and make sure also that you guys actually plan the day before so plan the day before what you're going to study tomorrow so that way when you start studying the next day you're not going to spend 30 or one hour just trying to figure out what you're going to study or what material you're going to use so the day before exactly write down what you're going to study the next day and what material you're going to use let me give you guys an example so don't just put like tomorrow i'm gonna cover math no be very specific don't even put calculus if you're gonna study calculus put derivatives tomorrow i'm going to cover derivatives so that's very specific right and then after that you can put the resources whatever books you're gonna use or youtube videos you're going to use to study derivatives so be very specific with your plan and so when the next day comes it's so easy for you to start studying because you already have a plan you know exactly what you're going to study and in addition you know exactly what material you're going to use to cover that topic also try to study the same hour every day for example pick an hour that works for you whether that is before work or after work and just stick to it and try to show up every day there are some days where you're not going to feel like studying and I still want you to show up even if it's just for 15 or 30 minutes. And that's because when you show up every day and you stay consistent, you make that studying as a habit instead of you relying on willpower. Because willpower is like a battery. By the end of the day, it starts dying. And if you can't really rely on willpower, then that is, it's going to be hard for you to start studying. So in this case, when you're going to show up every day, even the days when you don't feel like studying, and you show up every single day the same hour, you make that as a habit. And so then you don't have to re rely on willpower. You're just going to easily start studying. So try to implement these tips. Try not to dwell too much on the past. Don't focus on the future and just be on the present. And also make sure that you have a schedule. Plan the day before so when you start studying the next day, it will be easy for you to start. Be very specific with your schedule, what material you're going to cover and what you're going to study. And then just try to show up every day the same hour so that way you make it as a habit and you stay consistent with your studying. Now let's say you have the opportunity to take your FE exam before July 1st and now you're wondering whether you should take it before or after July 1st. Now if that is the case and you want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments below. So that's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying. Stay safe and I will see you soon. A la prochaine.